ladies and gentlemen, from the O2 Arena here in London, England, live on the zone. It's now time for the co-featured bout of the evening. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing. We're sponsored by Betfred, Stagefront, and JD Sports. This bout is sanctioned. Under the auspices of the British Boxing Board of Control, the steward in charge is Mr. Mick Collier and the World Boxing Association. The president, Herberto Jesus Mendoza, the supervisor is Jesper Jensen. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside. From England, Steve Gray. From Poland, Pavel Cardini, and from the United States of America, Alex Levin. And at the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring from England, A-star referee, Mr. Howard Foster. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of boxing scheduled for the vacant WBA Continental Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks. He scaled 19 stone, three pounds, four ounces. His professional record, 13 victories, three defeats, 10 of his 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Orlando, Florida, by way of Brooklyn, New York, please welcome Mike P.A.N. Coffee. Coffee. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the royal blue trunks with the white trim. He scaled 17 stone, 4 pounds, 6 ounces. His professional record, a perfect one. 15 fights, 15 victories, 14 of them coming by way of knockout. Here is the former English heavyweight champion, and the reigning and undefeated British heavyweight champion, Ipswich, England, Bobby Fabio. Okay, guys, you know the rules. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both of you watch your heads in close. Good luck to your ball. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. Rousing ovation for Fabio Wardley, the new British heavyweight champion in the blue and white of Ipswich Town, pushing for a promotion from League One in English football, winning away at Derby County today. And can Wardley now make it a sporting double? The new British champion, Fabio Wardley. 14 of his 15 wins so far inside the distance. Up against here, Michael Coffey, 36-year-old American. He was, I was saying, in the build-up as far many rounds with Deontay Wilder in the past. 13 wins and three defeats, Andy. Yeah, I want to see from Coffey is that he'll switch stances regularly. Front by good overhand, looping right hand from Wardley. And Coffey backs away, didn't like that. Solid shot from Wardley inside the first 45 seconds. How can Coffey respond? Wardley has got to be careful. When he has more success like that, Coffee is clever, and he might be playing possum a little bit, especially when he leans on the ropes. He's very dangerous off the ropes with overcuts and hooks. Coffee switching back to the orthodox stance, having been caught early on. I can really see um, the impression Ben Davidson's making on Wardley. The lead left hand, the jab, the sticks, the feints. Fainting, as Andy said, towards the torso and then flicking up the jab towards the head of Coffey from Wardley. Always measuring with the lead hand. Distracting his man. Oh, 
Will Coffey warm to the task after taking that shot inside the first 40 seconds or so? Coffey has a good very left hook, very good left uppercut too. And he switches side, so I wonder if he is naturally left-handed. Began the fight in the southpaw stance, and Wardley has to be sure here to impose his momentum, his rhythm on the contest. Coffee's always looking for that. He's kind of got the got his right hand cocked in front of his chin, and it's just ready to pull the trigger. Good job from Wardley. That's what he needs to do. Get Coffee off balance before he before he lets the right hand go, just like that. And smart, evasive work from Wardley at the end of the opening round. Good round for the British champion. Professional Fighters League, regular season underway tonight for those MMA fans in Las Vegas. Here it's heavyweight action all the way from now on at the O2 Arena. First appearance as British champion for Fabio Wardley and a bright start to the opening round. Using plenty of feints, getting through with the left hand jab. Forcing Coffey onto the back foot, as he's done once again here at the beginning of the second. Coffey again, Andy, looking for that looping right hand over the top of the returning jab of Wardley's. Yeah, but smart from Wardley, jabbing to the body, fainting, patient. But always got to be wary, because Coffey is just sitting back, sitting back, and just waiting for one moment. See the American with the right hand ready, looking to take advantage of any gaps left by Wardley on the way in. And there he goes, and he missed with it, but did get through with the jab. And that's the thing, you might get preoccupied looking for the right hand, worrying about the right hand, and then Coffey has a very good left hook and a good left jab, just like that. Smart from Wardley, punching the shoulder. And it's in those situations that Ben Davison, assisting in the corner with Robert Hodgins, said that Wardley should go again after the reset, go again. Got to be careful from that right hand hand off the ropes and the left hook. But for, 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 for Wardley, when Coffee's like this, not giving him anything, not giving him a target, not presenting anything, being quite negative, take the easy shot. Take the shot to the jab, jab to the body, the jab to the shoulder, even if you're just touching his shoulder. It knocks him off balance just like that. Keep taking the easy shot. And create an opening, don't try and force it. Coffey moving away from that double jab. And it suggests that the right hand over the top from Wardley might be difficult to land. You mentioned the sparring partner experience for Coffey, and that's what he looks like to me. A guy who's done a lot of sparring with a lot of big punchers and knows how to survive, knows how to protect himself. 
and knows how to take the sting out of shots that do land. Last few seconds of the second round, it's scheduled to go 10. Warby stands getting behind him, but Coffey rolling away from the potential danger at the end of the round. You're warming up well. Right there, man. Good work, buddy. Just a little, little, little bit more activity, son. A little bit more activity. The right, don't throw it around. Throw it straight, okay? Like you've been doing at the gym. Every now and then, you're pinning him on the ropes, you gotta work him on the rope with combination. You don't get on the rope and take a step back, you already got him in the rope. That's where you're gonna do the work, all right? Lean, keep leaning on him, pushing him and grabbing him and do whatever, you know what I mean? Get big physical, all right? At one time when you laid on him, stay on him until the left. Yeah, 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 throw him on the floor. Stay focused, all right? What a night of action coming up on April the 22nd. Javonte Davis against Ryan Garcia and Joe Cordina looking to regain the IBF Super Featherweight title. Cardiff and Las Vegas all here on the zone and in the UK, all part of your subscription. Into round three then, this heavyweight contest. The latest step in the development of Fabio Wardley. Won the British title last time around with a third round stoppage of Nathan Gorman over at Wembley Arena. Coffey in his corner was asked for more aggression in this third round. Good right hand on the inside, but good left hook from Coffey. Goes to the body. Feels he might have hurt Wardley there. This might just provide Wardley with the kind of openings that he wants as Coffey gets more ambitious. A gasp from certain sections of the crowd as that right hand just whistled past the head of Coffey. Coffey turning that shoulder, negating the damage of the right hand from Wardley. Wardley covers up as he steps away. It's a brilliant test for Wardley. A test of skill, of craft, how to break a man down who's being negative, how to pace his fight, how to pick the right punch. And there's also a huge element of danger with Coffey because he's a big man, he can punch. And even though he's negative for most of the round, every now and then he'll open up with a flurry of punches. And if he lands, nice jabbing from Coffey. And good return from Wardley. And one of his best wins, it might have been his best, was when he stopped the former top amateur, Damali Rock, in three rounds a couple of years ago. Rock was unbeaten coming in, as is Wardley. And a fight in the early stages will re re resemble this fight. Rock had a lot of success early rounds, but Coffee was unfazed. I came off the ropes to hurt him. Again, Coffey having success with that left-hand jab. Wardley struggling with the right hand. You're over-committing and staying too close. Once you commit, little stiff arm, back to distance. What the distance will do will allow you to play the attacks off of each other. Jab the chest, jab the chest, three, two. Yeah? So what, when I jab on it? When you're committing, you're over-committing, falling on top of him and getting stuck in that range. Again, what I said down into the previous round, just up top, right hand to the body, open the distance back up, start again. 
you're over committing and turning yourself onto the ropes because you're over committing. Don't need threes and fours, just keep stopping them up with what you're doing. When you're firing back, make your fist, don't stand there and take the fish off. Press for the three and two. Success is Andy for coffee in that previous round with the left hand in particular. Yeah, there might have been a moment where Wardley was hurt in that round. So as Andy said, this is developing into a stern test for the newly crowned British champion Fabio Wardley in the blue and white of Ipswich Town Football Club, protecting an unbeaten record that's 15 fights long. Covering up on the ropes. Big attack this from Wardley as his supporters get behind him here. And referee Howard Foster steps in and Coffey is absolutely furious. Just as we were saying, Andy, that that was developing into the kind of test that Wardley wants and needs at this stage of his career. So he puts the finishing touches, much to the fury of Michael Coffey. He did his job. He landed a good right hand, followed it up and kept going. Now, a lot of them weren't landing clean. Coffey caught a couple of them on the gloves, but he wasn't replying. He wasn't answering with punches. He gave the referee opportunity to stop it. It might have been a bit premature in my eyes. Maybe he was going to survive that flurry, but he didn't throw back. And he gave, the ref, he gave the ref Howard Foster the chance to stop the fight. And Coffey is still protesting, Andy, being checked over by the British Boxing Border Control doctor, but he's convinced he could have continued. But too late, too late. Should have had more ambition. Wardley did his job. There was a left, right hand over top, but it's not that one, it's that one there. And then he follows it up and he keeps going. You can see Coffey's catching some of them on the gloves, they're not really landing. But we can see, we're lucky because we're, we're on these, uh, the eye side of Coffey, you can see that he had clear eyes. How fast he was on the far side. Good performance by Wardley, a good learning fight for him. He's still a developing fighter, still an improving fighter. And finally got through with the right hand, Andy, which Coffey with all those years of experience of sparring, as you said, against heavy punches, was bringing the shoulder around and making it difficult for long periods. I'm all for the through. safety of fighter, fighters and protecting fighters, but for me, that's a little bit early. A little bit early. This is boxing after all, the heavyweights. Let them fight. And you can see from the last of those shots that Coffey was relatively clear eyed. Well, they're both undefeated, both undisputed, and they go head to head in Dublin on May the 20th. Ireland superstar Katie Taylor against Chantel Cameron for all the super lightweight belts right here on the zone, Saturday, May the 20th. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Howard Foster calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, 45 seconds of round number four, declaring a winner by TKO and the new WBA Continental Heavyweight Champion, Fabio Wardley. So in the end, the warm embrace from Michael Coffey as Fabio Wardley extends his unbeaten record in his first outing as the British champion. He takes on American opposition and wins in four rounds. Now 16 unbeaten for the new British champion.